Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Skippy Low Looks at Hollywood. Tonight, Skippy's guests are that international singing star, Al Martino, and vocal impressionist, Janice Hart. And now, here's that one-of-a-kind, Skippy Low. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood today. We have a very interesting show for you today. We have one of America's great singing stars. Matter of fact, he is an international singing star because he just got back from Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, he has sold over millions of records. The wonderful El Martino. Hello, El. Well, good evening. Good evening. Oh, millions of records, right? Uh -huh. How am I going to first, follow that introduction? First, Spanish Eyes. Spanish Eyes. No, that wasn't the first one, no. It wasn't? No, the very first recording I made was back in 1952, and that was Here in My Heart. Here in my heart. 52? 1952. El Martino. Yeah, and you've been yeah. going, and this is 1984. And you're oh, is it? Really? 1984? And you're still selling more records than ever. Well, I'm doing very well. I'm very happy about it, especially in Europe. I do well. Yeah, you just, where were you? Just now. Uh, Europe and in New Jersey, I do very well. In New Jersey? Yeah. All the Italians there. <laughs> all, the, all the Italians. There are Italians everywhere. There are? In California, sure. you don't have many Italians, do well, they all? No, really? Do they? Of course they do. Not as San much Francisco as... San Francisco has a lot of Italians. San Francisco, yeah. yeah Los not... Angeles has quite a lot of them, too. Not San really. Diego. Not Bakersfield. Like... Bakersfield? Bakersfield. Okay, okay, okay. 60% okay. Italians. Okay, fine. I accept that. <laughs> but tell me something about your trip in Europe. What's happening in Europe? What were, where were you doing? Well, first of all, I just came back from Romeo and Juliet's for dinner. So, Romeo and Juliet's? Yes. That's on Beverly Drive right. in right. Beverly Hills. Right. My good friend okay. Vito. Vito now, Sussel. Right. Now, where do you want to go from here? I want to know about your trip in Europe. Oh. What well, we started off in um, London, mm -hmm. Great Britain. I played all the provinces of Great Britain, mm -hmm. which took about uh, almost three weeks. Mm -hmm. And from there, I went to Germany. And Germany? I went to Berlin. I went to Stuttgart and uh, Cologne. You did your concerts? Frankfurt, yes. Concerts, uh -huh. Quite a few places mm -hmm. there in Germany, mm -hmm. and finished off in Vienna. Oh. Yeah, and I, I found uh, Vienna a very exciting place. I was a little disappointed in the cuisine. And you cook. I always thought That's I right. always thought that the cuisine in Vienna was absolutely fantastic. El Martino, the audience don't know. El Martino is a great cook. That's what you really do. Well, That's everyone your... says I'm a great cook. Yes. I don't know if I really. Vito Sasso told me that you're a great cook. Matter of fact, he's looking for you for a part-time. Uh, well, let's say cook. that I I enjoy cooking. I enjoy cooking. It all started many years ago uh -huh. on the road. Mm -hmm because it started actually in England in 1952. How, how could that start on the road? You, you just cook in the hotels or what, in your rooms? Well, it had a lot to do with nourishment. You know, you have to have the proper nourishment, mm -hmm. especially if you're away from home. Right. My show, my show was 6 o'clock at night, was the first show. Right. And 9 o'clock was the second show. Right. Now, the restaurants in England opened at 7 p.m. and closed mm -hmm. at 10, mm -hmm. which means that there wasn't any nourishment. Right. Between the hours of 6 and 10. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So the only thing that we had was cold chicken when we got out of the theater. There were no restaurants open in those days. So how did not you Not to midnight and 1 o'clock Or where did you cook? In the hotel rooms? Well, after six months of this uh -huh. cold chicken, something had to be done. Uh -huh. So we thought of the idea of preparing the food in our own suites, uh -huh. which was not permissible in the hotel. Uh -huh. They didn't allow things like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we had to get permission. Uh -huh. Some hotels thought it was all right, and some thought, no, we better not start uh -huh, a uh -huh. policy going where right, all right. the... Carol Chaney does that, too, you know. Car I understand Carol does the same thing you do. But I, it all started actually out of the fence. Uh -huh. That was the real reason. Right, right. And right. then it developed uh -huh. into more or less a hobby. Mm -hmm. Or what is it, food. Italian food, El, or it French, does, or No, what? it doesn't have to be Italian. What is your After all, you got to remember, I travel all over the world, and I do right. observe a lot right. in the various hotels and, mm -hmm. and, and where I'm staying, and uh -huh. I may go to an occasional restaurant, and I see what they, what they put together there, and I uh -huh. know the chefs, I know the owners of the hotel, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I, like I know Vito, and mm -hmm. we exchange our ideas and our likes in uh -huh. cuisine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have a book, out? No, I know I don't have a book. You I've, really don't have a book, I've cooking been, book? I've been asked about that uh -huh. several times, uh, about putting a book together. Why don't you? It's a very good idea. It's just uh -huh. that I have everything up in my head, and it's a, just it's a matter of disciplining myself, uh -huh. pinning myself down for uh -huh. several hours each day, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and that's what's difficult for me to do. What is your favorite dish? Maybe though? I can phone it in. <laughs> what is your favorite dish, though? Uh -huh. What is your favorite dish to cook, really? Uh, I, I like I like little, those little peasant dishes, you know, like... Peasant uh, dishes. Peasant dishes, like 
uh, spinach and, and, and beans together. Oh, or, I see. Or pasta and potatoes or pasta and lentils. Oh, good. I like all yeah, those kinds of They're delicious, yes. They yes. are. And yeah. calamari with a red sauce uh -huh. and uh, uh -huh. on top uh -huh. of uh, uh, linguine, linguine or something like right. that. Right. But it's not only talking about it, it's preparing it the perfect uh -huh. way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what I am obsessed about. I see. Preparing it the perfect way. Uh -huh. I see. But tell me something. And I think I can do that. You speak Italian? Not Pardon? fluently, not, no. not really But you well. did the movie Godfather, The Godfather, the great film, The Godfather. Yes. And what part did you do with that? I, 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 played, I, uh, I played the role of Johnny Fontaine. Johnny Fontaine. That was a great part, really. That was your first film? First film, yes. First? Yes. Have you ever studied acting, though? No. Never. That was just, just get in front of the camera and that was it? Well, I mean, uh, uh, I read the book. Uh -huh. You know, for one thing, and I always thought that I could play that part. Uh -huh. And I do believe that if you have a good director, uh -huh. and if you know something about acting, uh -huh. I think you can get through that part. That was a great part. That yeah, really after was all, the director was yeah. very important in the film, yeah. you know, Francis Coppola. Right, right. Troy Donahue was in that film. He had a small part in that film, too. Well, I didn't even know that. I just found out Marlon Brando was in it. Mar you didn't meet Marlon Brando? You mean, you're kidding. L, tell me Marlon Brando, what kind of, you, you met him. Uh, what kind of a guy was Marlon Brando? Brando was a, a super guy. He's and very I mean, private, he's isn't he? He's super. He's a superman. Yeah. And, uh, uh, superman, you get Yeah, me. right. And I got to tell you, he was very helpful. Helpful in the what? Well, at first, Marlon really didn't know whether he wanted to had me in that film. Mm -hmm. I mean, he didn't, he didn't know I was in the film mm -hmm. until I was ready to shoot the part. Did Brando have a lot to do uh, casting that film? No, no. No, I was just wondering. But, after all, he doesn't like to work with non-actors, and I can understand mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And here I am, a singer, invading his domain. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, therefore, the day that I was supposed to shoot my part, mm -hmm. Brando had asked Coppola, uh, who are we shooting next? Mm -hmm. And I happened to be just a few feet from him. He didn't know that, though. Mm -hmm. And Coppola said, oh, we're, we're going to get Al Martino to do the Johnny, Johnny uh -huh. Fontaine uh -huh. part. Uh -huh. He says, Al Martino, he says, he's not an actor, is he? Uh -huh. And Francis says, no, you're right, he's not an actor, but we've got to make it work somehow. Uh -huh. And, uh, and uh, Marlon said, well, yeah, well, well, then you better get him drunk. Brando said that. Yeah, you better get him drunk. Al, don't you think singers, <laughs> don't you think singers and comedians are really actors? I mean, really. To sell a song on stage, don't you think they have to be an actor to sell the song? Well, or, or I, 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 I guess so, basically but, you but are. there are certain things that they can't do. Mm -hmm. Certain things in movies that they can't do. Like what? Like, I just well, like to know which mean. Well, right? You can't play a Marlon Brando part. You can't do a Jimmy Stewart part. But you you're not a Brando. A, you're a Al Martino. I, I know, but, it, but when you get a script that requires uh -huh. that kind of expertise. Right, right, right. Expertise we're talking but about. But it's the director, too, can help you out. Well, that's what I said yeah. earlier. Yeah, director. But... He can only do so much. Uh -huh. If the part requires another individual, uh -huh. another actor, then it must be done. I thought you were wonderful in it. I, I must say, everybody thought you were great. El Martino well, was great in it. You really were. That's what I tried to tell Coppola at the beginning, you know. Uh -huh. So you just got back from Europe three months you were away? Three months? Three months. You, I was, three months? I spent, um, I guess, about seven weeks over there in Europe. Uh -huh. The other three or four weeks was in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And uh, Puerto Rico. had a lovely time. I really did. I enjoyed it. I understand the Sons of Italy just awarded you. You just got, uh, just got an award from Sons of Italy, did you? Did you just get an award from Sons of Italy? No, where did you hear this rumor, I just, Skip? I just found out. I don't know. Someone I mean, gave I've been associated you, you do with Sons the Sons of Italy, of Italy for 30 years. And they didn't give you an award? No, they can't afford it. <laughs> didn't you just do a show for them? Did you I, do something for the Sons of Italy just no, recently? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. No. Okay, I got my information wrong. Where did you get that information? Um, From the Sons of Italy. Sons of Italy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. But I understand you're, you're a good golfer, though. I That's love, right. I love to play golf. You like to play golf? Yeah. Where do you play? Around on the West Coast here? Well, we play at Lakeside. Uh -huh. Very nice place there. And I play, I have a member on the East Coast, uh, uh -huh. sort of an out-of-state membership I have, mm -hmm. near my mother's home. Mm -hmm. So I play there a lot. Oh, your mother lives out here? Yeah. Uh, I'm not a great golfer. I just, I like to play golf. I'm, I'm more than a weekend golfer, let's I put see. it that way. El, what tell me about the singers today. Such a great singer you are, El Martino. When I think of the word El Martino, I think is, is a great romantic singer, an Italian romantic singer. And uh, the singers today, we don't have romantic singers today. 
do you think, what do you think about the singers today, really? Uh, male singers. I want your opinion now. Well, do male we... singers, now I, I, it, it seems to me the emphasis... Can is... you go out there and pick out a, a good male singer today coming up, really? Not as far as a romantic That's... male singer yeah, right. singing a great ballad. Uh -huh. That is that we don't have. I agree with you there. The ballad singers, yeah. right. They're all, why are they all into this? Screaming Everything and shouting. Because, well, well, I'll tell you. I think the main reason, and I hope I'm not offending anybody, and I, uh -huh. uh, is that we live right now in what you call a drug-oriented society. Drug, yes. Oriented society. Yeah. And the drug-oriented society has uh, uh -huh. enveloped a lot of writers uh -huh. who are drug-orientated. Yes, right. You see. Yes, uh -huh. And uh, most of them really cannot compose mm -hmm. that songs. kind of a ballad. Yeah, right. Yeah. Under the influence of drugs. So you don't think there would be enough Sinatras and El Martinos? They're mostly, and... they're mostly what you call music orientated. Right, right. They, 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 get, they get turned on by the music, mm -hmm. by the beat. The beat, but that's not the thing, the beat. By a good lyric. Lyric, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You know, the days of the Sammy Kahn's and the Urban Berlin and mm -hmm. writers like that, they, they don't, they're not around anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, even today, take a singer like Ingeborg Humperdinck. Yeah. He would have a lot of trouble trying to find a good ballad. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And he's a great ballad singer. Mm -hmm. he, he performs a good, good mm -hmm. ballad. But where does he find but them? I'm talking about he doesn't the, have them. I'm talking about the young kids today. I mean, uh, But it all goes together, though. Yeah, see, it, see. All, it all comes, it's all relative. Uh -huh. Ballads brought in the singers. Right. Singers bring in the ballads. Right. It all works together. It's like coffee and, and milk, or coffee and sugar, whatever. Yeah. It goes together. Yes, now, right. if there are no ballads being written, uh -huh. there are no singers to perform them. True, true, true. Because there's no one to pursue these, these uh, uh, creations uh, of, of songs. Do you believe there are clubs out there to perform? I mean, there aren't any clubs like no. we remember in the 50s, no, there supper aren't. clubs. We no, there aren't. Beautiful no. supper clubs. So what do you think is happening, our show we business? Don't, we today? don't really have anything between the East Coast and the West Coast. Well, there's nothing in between anymore. Uh, Las Vegas is, uh -huh. is uh, diminishing as far as... Uh, it is? Is it really? Uh, yes, they're using is a lot... Is it Atlantic of, City taking uh, over? Is yes, it? they're using a lot of book shows, uh -huh. book shows in Vegas now. Right. And they're using book shows in Atlantic City. Uh -huh. but, uh, at least Atlantic City is giving it a pretty good shot, though. They are. What I mean is they are making an attempt uh -huh. to bring in a lot of talent. I don't know whether it's a two-show-a-night policy uh -huh. yet. Uh -huh. But we do know that the first shows are usually packed. What's happened to our supper clubs in L in, in America? I mean, back east, there are clubs back east, but in, in California, it doesn't Can't, seem like... They cannot keep up with the expense, the overhead. Is that what it is? That's the real reason, the overhead. The overhead is what's knocking them out of business. Oh, I see. It isn't, it isn't the, the price of the food. Uh -huh. it's, the, it's the price of... Uh, a little, all the miscellaneous ob uh, mm -hmm. things that come in, all the expense, utilities. We'll yes. give you a fine example. Utilities uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. can really be I expensive. See. I see. Then you've got the, the, uh, uh, all, all the various funds mm -hmm. that have to be paid. Well, what would you advise our young singers today in America or in the world how to prepare themselves if they have great voices like El Martino? I don't and believe that there's a market for it. You don't believe no. there's a market for Boy George? Is that what you mean? Is that taking over our business, Boy George? Well, really? you have to remember that it's the teenagers that really always did run didn't. the business. Yeah, they always did. Didn't I they? mean, we, we we all forget that we, we were all teenagers at one time. And when I had my very first record in 1952, right, right. Well, without those teenagers, I wouldn't be here today talking to you. Why? It was the teenagers that bought my records. Yeah. I remember now yeah. the, the the teenage. Uh, the, the age bracket has been lowered since then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are, uh, for instance, the, the, the people, the, the kids are the teenagers that buy Michael Jackson. Yes. Well, there are 10-year-olds, yes, yes. 9-year-olds, 8-year-olds yes, probably. Well, they weren't oh, I buying... Don't, you think 8-year-old oh, kids I think, making I think that they see the yeah. television and they see the dancing going on. So it's... Yes, I, I saw a few 8-year-olds trying to emulate yeah. Michael Jackson. So they're... Tr that, <laughs> yes, they are. That's true. Sure, and they, and they wear the Michael Jackson attire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, they copy that. And, mm -hmm. uh, but, so, but, but when I first started, the age bracket was only 16, 15 on up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See, it wasn't below 15. But you know something? In Canada, show business is a little different than America. 
they really like singers like El Martino or Vic Damones in, in Canada, much more so than America. They really do. Am I correct, Al? Now, be honest. There are clubs there for yeah. you to work. No, Am I no correct? not right now. No? No, Skip. No, there isn't. Did the you just bottom, go Yes, I did. The bottom dropped right out of Canada. It did? Yes, yes it did. So and Boy I George grew. Boy George, and Michael Jackson are really taking over yes. Canada, too. Yeah. It's international, uh, Skip. It's, I can't believe that. I mean, show Michael business. Jackson and all those are very popular in Europe, too. Much more popular there than here. Yes, true, 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 true. But you brought a clip for us uh, that you uh, did. I did in, in Edmonton, Canada. Edmonton? Yes. Uh -huh. I did a clip there, but that's television. Yes. See, and... Uh, uh, I worked one engagement in uh -huh. Canada last year. Uh -huh. I don't think there's going to be any this year, but possibly next year. Skip. Mm -hmm. Well, would you want to set up the clip? What is it? Yes. What is it? Uh, set up the clip for yourself. It's, so. it's, it's a symphony orchestra of the Edmonton, Edmonton Symphony Orchestra. Uh -huh. We did an hour concert there mm. at a beautiful theater. How many in a band? It must, must be have big. been about fifty. See, don't have but that today. No, because the just don't the, have it. The, the cost. Yeah. Uh, no one can afford it. Good. No one can afford these costs uh -huh. of these. It's tough to do these shows, uh, and, uh -huh. and uh, I, I don't think he's doing these shows anymore because of that one reason. Is it really? Yes. Well, I would like to introduce right now El Martino doing his clip from Edmonton, Canada. Gentlemen, El Martino. When I look at you, a beautiful thing of every dream I ever knew. Down deep in my heart, I hear it play. I feel it start and melts away. I hear music when I touch your hand. A beautiful melody from some enchanted land. Down deep in my heart, I hear it say, Is this the day? I alone have heard this lovely strain. I alone have heard this glad refrain. Must it be forever inside of me? Why can't I let it go? Why can't I let you know, why can't I let you know the song my heart would sing? That beautiful rhapsody of love and youth and spring. The music is sweet, the words are true, the song is you. The song is you. Will be my music. I can't wait any longer to sing my song. That's great, Al. Great. Thank you. Good God. That's that's fifty men up there. And also wow. and a very huge orchestra. Fifty. It really sounds great. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a very huge audience. Audience. We had the a audience house that night. Really? Yeah. Al, why a Broadway show? That's is that Yes. Is I that Al Martino and I, I I would like to give that a try. You would be wonderful. I you know in what? I'd like I'd like to do it. You know what? Which one? Nine. You think so? I think you would be <clears throat> absolutely wonderful in nine. Is that right? What do you think? Well, did you ever thought someone, about it? Someone, someone, uh, uh, have they suggested that I that I do that? Nine, you'd be wonderful. You think so? Yes, I do. When I think well, of it, yeah, it's a great where show. Where can we it. go with it? I don't know. It's already been to L.A., hasn't it? Uh, been to L.A. It's it has been, been to L.A. Yeah, it has been. Yes, right. Yes. Right, yeah. uh, but they're taking it. I don't know. Take it to it. Europe. 
Take it to Europe. I think you'd be great in it. I really do. Even Canada. You'd be wonderful in it. Al, do you know right now I have a lovely young lady I would like you to meet. All right. She's all right. a very beautiful young lady. She has worked in my showcase, matter of fact, and she is a very, very talented young lady by the name of Miss Janice Hart. Let's give her a nice round. Hello, Janice. How Hi, are you, darling? My, you're Hi. in blue, my I dear. Know, I know, I am. Pretty blue. How Thank are you. you? Great. So How the, about you? Well, it's hot out there today, isn't it, honey? Yes. So tell me about, uh, you brought some friends with you today? Oh, uh, yes, I brought Who did a, you bring? Well, I brought... Uh, oh, Skippy, it is so nice to be here. Hiya, how are you? Yeah. Can, can, can yeah. we talk here? Can you we can talk. talk. We oh, can talk. First of all, Skippy, do you like what I'm wearing? I love it. Boy George wore it to his senior prom. Isn't he terrific? <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous. He's absolutely gorgeous. He, you know, I think he's almost as gorgeous as Elizabeth Taylor. Is he? And, oh, absolutely. Oh, are you kidding? Thank God he's not as fat as her. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, yes, he's, he is. he's oh, fat. Is he? He's fat. Oh, well, you know, well, Elizabeth Taylor, are you kidding? Grow up, just grow up. Her dress size is the same as her zip code, Skippy. <laughs> Why do you like Boy George? Oh, I, Joe? well, you know, he's so, he's so new, attractive, whatever, I don't know. But, um... Why don't you support your Americans? Oh. Joan, support Americans. Go ahead. Okay, Don't well, support the English. We have enough English over here in this country. Huh? Yeah, I guess we, you're right, Skippy. Okay. But actually, darling, I would like to bring out my dear, dear friend. She's an absolutely wonderful singer. I hope she's you, American. Oh, she is, absolutely. Is she? okay, she's from okay. Tennessee. Help me give a warm welcome to Miss Dinah Shaw. Oh, Come on I up there, Dinah. Come on, darling. <laughs> Miss Dinah Shaw. <Shore. laughs> Thank you. Hi there, Skippy. Hi, darling. Hi there, Al. How are you? <laughs> it's wonderful to be on the show with Al, because um, I love to sing. In fact, um, I'm Dinah Shaw. And uh, I died in 1949. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Oh, yes. And I'm going to sing a wonderful song uh, by my wonderful conductor, who has a wonderful arrangement of that wonderful song called You Are the Wonderful Sunshine of a Wonderful, Wonderful Life. <laughs> Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. It's wonderful. By, thank wonderful. you. It's by Stevie Wonderful. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. I love to sing. <laughs> Here we go. You are the sun. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. You. You. Wait. I got it. Wait. You. Okay. You. Wait, hold it. Stop the music, darling. <laughs> you know, I hate those fancy intros. Oh, Skippy, I hate them. Why don't we just start with a note back there? We'll start with a note. Okay? You. Wait. You. 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 Okay. You. You. I got it. Okay. You are the sunshine of my life. <laughs> You, you, what is it? You? <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, Al. Skippy. Yeah, that's all right. You know, I must have got a cold. <laughs> well, well, sure, darling, that's why I can't sing. <laughs> yeah. You know, I must have got a cold at that nudist beach I went to yesterday. For the first time, a nude beach, it was really something. You know, I picked up a conch seashell and I heard heavy breathing. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah. uh, anyway, it's been a wonderful treat to be on the show, Skippy, with Al Martini. Thank you. Al Martini. Absolutely wonderful singer. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, that's Thank fine, Diana. Thank yeah. you. Okay, that's it. How many, song, how many impressions do you do, Janet? Well, Skippy, I really don't do a whole lot of impressions. I, I but like, you sing. I'm a singer, uh, actually, comedian, a... actress. Uh -huh. I don't really specialize in Oh, you are an actress. Yeah, oh, I'm a comedic okay. actress, of oh. course. And you used to teach exercise, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I had a, my dance exercise show on... Uh, and Group W? Yes, yes, I did. Did you really? Yeah. I see. For a while. That's how you're good in shape, huh, Dirt? Right. Yeah. So tell me about your career. What's happening with your life now? What are you doing? Well, so um, I just started back at uh, entertaining again, doing my act. Right. And I'm working now in Westwood at a club. Where in, where in Westwood here? Bernie's on the Roof. Oh, it's a nice room up yeah, on the top. Yeah, it's a gorgeous room. What days room. are you there? Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Ah, Sometimes and Sunday this weekend. Sunday. You do a whole show, a one-woman show? Um, about a half-hour show. Half-hour show? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No one's else on the show with you, just you? Um, I have, there's a couple of entertainers. There are a couple more? Uh -huh. Right. I said, where are you from, Janice? From Cronin Del Mar. 
Where? Corona Del Mar. It's New Port Beach area. Oh, is, you're a California girl. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I see. Born I see. and raised. Born and yeah. raised. All right. And uh, Janice Hart. Remember Janice Hart. when I dis I discovered you at the Hyatt on Sunset? Yes, you helped me get my act together. That's right, That's on right. Sunset. I worked That's at the comedy store in an improv group. Right, And right. then I started working on my own solo act. She does years. a comedy lady. The she Continental comedy. Hyatt House. At the Hyatt Hotel, yeah, right, on Sunset. And, and so now you're doing a whole complete new act now. Yeah. So that's it's great. It's exciting. It's neat. It is. You know. So you're d have you done movies, Janice? Done any uh, films? Well, you know, the only movies I've done is uh, I've gone to the movies, actually. <laughs> I've gone to the movies. Oh. I haven't been in a movie, but you were in The World's Greatest Lover. Oh, yeah, that's that's a long time ago. Anyway. But I'm going to do some movies. <laughs> yes? TV. I want to do TV, situation comedy. So Perfect. what would you advise our young people out there, Janice, <laughs> if they want to come to Hollywood and how to get in the business? Well, uh, what would you advise I them? would say just keep it up. Just work as much as you can and uh, persist because i'm not going to give up until i make it persist yeah. that's, that's and believe the, in yourself that's it believe. persist yeah what is that is that the is that the word that's, that's, one, of the you first, that's one of the first words i learned but you've been in the business a long time 50. well you got to remember though uh, skip back in those days there, there wasn't much competition what? I mean, I mean, it was a very small we were only, it was a very small group of people johnny ray looking, johnny uh, looking to make it big yeah jerry and they all and they all did it and the thing the thing is that everyone in that group became successful yeah right everyone one or two may have fell by the wayside uh -huh. but it's amazing how all of them achieved their goals uh -huh. Hmm. But we had a lot of talent shows back in those days that were really fantastic. You gotta remember Arthur Godfrey, uh -huh. which was a which was a good stepping stone. Uh -huh. We have one now though. It's what do you as a Sam Harris is on uh, what was that? Star uh, Search. Star what Search. do you think about that one? That isn't that a stepping stone for young people today? This new television show. It's not as it's not, it's as, not as like it was Arthur Godfrey. Godfrey right. Well, I'll I tell agree. you what the Godfrey thing was. I agree. When you won that show, yeah. if you won, well, yeah. you were on his weekly show. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On especially the radio part of it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, every morning for a week. Mm -hmm. So you got what you call continued exposure right yes, after yes, that. Yes, yes, okay. And, and then, none of that, but there were recording companies uh -huh. mm -hmm. that were looking for talent. I'll yeah. give you an idea. I was discovered on the Godf Godfrey Show, actually. Uh, you my were? first record I see. Uh -huh. uh, for, uh, was a gentleman, a writer, uh -huh. was watching the show. Uh -huh. And have we got time to... No, we don't. We we're we're going to anyway, cut, but that's right. I was discovered in New York City at a restaurant. Hmm. El we Martino, thank you for coming. Thank you. Scott. You're great. Thank Janice, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been looking at Hollywood today, but I must tell you, there is a woman out there who is hosting The Tonight Show, and she is making $1 million for eight weeks' work. Only in America that could happen. This is Skippy Lowe. They're rolling now.